Now to the story of a new homeowner with new sod on a small suburban lawn swamped with a giant city water bill. Emily Hashem did everything she was told to bring her new yard to life. The landscapers told her new grass needs a good solid start to grow. She opened up the taps on her tiny lawn, but when she opened up her water bill, a whopping $1,400 for three months. It's a bill she can scarcely afford in her new home. The Hashem's neighborhood, too, is up in arms. Uh, the up-and-coming Finley Creek development, many are in the same boat. Big bills arriving at the same time when the city of Ottawa is finally reporting a surplus in the water budget. CTV's Catherine Latham joins us now live with this story. Catherine. Well, Michael, 28-year-old Emily Hashem admits as a new homeowner, she's a little green, having to budget to keep the household running. She knew her summer water bill would be high, but she never expected this. In a neighborhood still under construction, 28-year-old Emily Hashem is one of the first to move in. It was really exciting. One of the first to get her new sod. And on advice, she says, of landscapers. Said, important slash mandatory, water your grass for about 24 hours initially per day. So that's what she did. Turning on the sprinkler for nearly three days straight and overnights for another five. Yeah, I did what I was told. <laughs> I may have been naive about it, but I'm young. It's my first house. The city even called with an automated warning. That the water consumption was high and that there's a possible leak. No leak, but she heeded the warning and slowed down the watering. And then... I just took a picture, sent it to my family and said, oh my God. <laughs> Her water bill. When I opened the bill, I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> it was $1,400 and no, $1,405. And yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. And she's not alone. I was crazy. Her neighbors across the street slapped with a $725 bill. Mustafa Al-Rabbi says they've barely watered since. We got the bill, we're like, okay, we'll take care of it, but not as much at this time. And it turns out more homeowners like Emily are paying more for their water this summer. That's because more people are watering their lawns due to this long, dry summer. And that's making the city money. In fact, they're seeing a $5 million surplus, a surplus they haven't seen in years. In a statement, city treasurer Marianne Similek says the city does not refund customers in years of surplus, nor does it charge extra to recover costs in years when there is a deficit. Customers are encouraged to contact the revenue branch to discuss their water bill. Both Hashem and her neighbor have done that, but got the same answer. My bill is my bill. Yeah, $1,400 of water. <laughs> So water crazy. That's water that's gone. You can't even see it. The grass isn't even that green. <laughs> There's like yellow spots everywhere. At least she's laughing. Well, now she was expecting to pay five, six, even seven hundred, but not fourteen hundred. And she used her water today just really for us to take some pictures. The truth is, she hasn't used water at all lately. She's even showering at the gym and eating at her parents to save money. A lesson learned the hard way. She's hoping the city will still give her some kind of a break. The bill is due tomorrow. Michael? What a shocker. Mm -hmm. CTV's Catherine Latham reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Catherine.